Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammie and today's video is going to be a Q&A. I asked you guys on my Instagram and on um, Snapchat to ask me questions. So if you're not following me on those, I have the links um, down below and yeah. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. I screenshotted the ones from Instagram. So yeah. The first one is, um, what has life been like with two kids? Is it harder and what makes it easier, if anything? So, life with two kids is definitely, personally, a lot harder for me. Um, I know some people say the transition is really easy, but that has not been, that has not been my experience. Um, Parker is a very, very active toddler, a very active three-year-old. He runs around all day long, constantly, um... And he also likes snuggles and other things like that. And he's very, uh, he wants you to pay attention to him. So having to hold the baby all the time or, you know, I'm breastfeeding. So breastfeeding every few hours and just doing all the stuff with the baby. I feel like I'm not doing enough for Parker and that kind of makes me sad. And just getting little tasks done um, that I could easily do without the baby, like, beforehand but now having the baby I have to wear her a lot to get anything done like to maybe even cook Parker like his lunch or whatever I might have to wear her or to try to fold laundry I might have to wear her um, and I might have to wear her anyway to like just walk around the house because she is also very attentive and a very clingy baby um, A lot of the questions are just adjusting to kids. It was, it's hard for me. We're still, um, still adjusting every day. Um, what is my personal favorite show that Parker watches? Um, he watches Disney Junior and Nick Junior or Nickelodeon, whatever. Um, I don't really think I have a favorite. Um, the things that are on the most are Bluey. Um, Paw Patrol, PJ Mask, and Mickey Mouse, um, and Puppy Dog Pals. I feel like I just named off like all the kid shows, but I don't really have a favorite out of them. I, they're just always on and I just find myself watching them. What is something that has gotten you through rough days? Probably just seeing the kids smile. Um, Ari can get really, really fussy with her gas and whatnot, um, but then when she calms down and, um, she just looks at me and she smiles that's just that's such a nice feeling and then when Parker comes in in the morning and he lays down in bed with me and he has to snuggle that always makes me really really happy if I felt like I was too mean to him the day before it's always nice to have that um let's see do you want any more babies? So I don't think that we are going to be having another kid who knows down the future, but right now I am, you know, I'm feel like I'm struggling as it is with two kids. So I definitely do not want to add a third on that plate. Um, what would be your dream place to live? I'm not really sure. Uh, ideally somewhere very affordable. We will eventually move from where we live and go somewhere else we want it to be a place where it snows but isn't like crazy you know blizzards or anything like that um but we don't have snow in florida so we would like to let the kids have that i didn't really have snow i moved when i was two from virginia to where we are now in florida so i've never really been around snow my husband is from indiana so he has been around snow and we both think that it would be just cute to like grow up and you know make um, snowman and just I feel like that would make Christmas more Christmassy and all that kind of stuff uh, but definitely somewhere my husband wants a basement somewhere that has a basement and then somewhere where it's affordable as well um, if I could travel for free where would it be I think we would just travel around probably everywhere if it was free just to see all the sites um, but I don't think it would be easy to travel with two kids. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Yes, we have a Boston Terrier and a kitty cat. 
My favorite holiday is Christmas. I like Christmas movies, but I'm a big holiday person, like pretty much for every holiday. Um, even like minor holidays, like I am excited. I grew up, my mom loved holidays, so I now love holidays. Um, but definitely Christmas. I like Christmas movies. I like lights. I like hot cocoa, all of that kind of stuff. Um, what was the hardest thing about pregnancy? It was just, it was a difficult pregnancy in general because I had gestational diabetes and then they kept telling me um, like not great news every time I would go to the doctors after like the 20 week point. Um, it was just a little difficult because I mean they ended up being wrong but it just wasn't a fun time. Um, Ari is definitely gotten more chunky. I am just super blessed that she has been gaining well, weight as well as she has because she was like small when she came out and now she's doing good. She's got those chubby little cheeks. Um, again, pregnancy was difficult for me. I got a couple other questions about pregnancy. It just wasn't as easy as my first pregnancy. Um, but it, it, you know, we got through it. Everything's all fine. Um, I am a Taurus. started crying so now she's here with me um so let's see is Parker overprotective of Ari um he does I don't know that he's overprotective he is concerned for her when she cries or like if her passy falls out he's always like she wants her passy um he wants to give her kisses before he goes to bed um so I think he'll be overprotective when she like gets older and he gets older and all that stuff. Um, where are we living? We are living in Florida. Let's see. And then there was, again, how many kids do we want? I think we're, we're pretty content right now as it is. Um, and um, people are asking about like the genders. I have a boy and a girl and I feel like that is perfect. That's why I don't necessarily feel the need to try for another kid because I got my boy first and then I got a girl and that's, I mean, that's perfect. Got one of each, experience both. And now I'm gonna go into the Snapchat questions. So one of them is if I tore during giving birth and I did not tear this this time um, I tore with Parker and I had to get stitches but this time I did not tear she was already crowning for quite a long time before and then when I pushed her out it was only a couple of pushes and she was small so I did not tear this time so that was nice um, let's see how is breastfeeding going do you want to breastfeed into toddlerhood so breastfeeding is going pretty pretty good it's definitely a lot harder than it was with Parker um, she just she gets really fussy a lot at the time that I'm trying to breastfeed her and then she's trying to like poop and then she arches her back and it's just it's a lot so we always gotta he doesn't I always have to calm her down um, but I mean she's gaining right really good she's drinking her milk really good um, it's just definitely been a harder experience than it was with Parker. And if I could breastfeed her into toddlerhood, I would. I breastfed Parker for two years. Hopefully I can breastfeed Ari for two years as well, but we'll see. Um, how old is Ari? Sorry if I spelled her name wrong. Her name is spelled A-H-R-I. Um, but she is two months. She will be three months on the 16th. Um, what is my favorite thing about each of my kids? I like Parker's spirit, I guess I should say. He's just very happy for the most part. He's just very, he always wants to play with you. He just seems like a happy kid. Like even if kids are mean to him, like he's been pushed at the park and stuff like that. And he never gets like upset or pushes them back anything like that he just is just happy and I'm not sure about her yet because she doesn't really have uh, much of a personality yet um I love her smiles though 
That makes me happy. Yes, it does. Sorry, baby talk. Um. Somebody asked how many pounds I weigh. I'm not gonna answer how many pounds I weigh, but I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight. And then, she's yawning. So I think that is probably going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.